Hi. I have made an another uh, tutorial Bullet Dynamics in 30 seconds and um, if you see that movie you probably recognize this setup except for I have added some more bricks. I'm going to show you how to set up this little animation and uh, the new Bullet Dynamics made this very simple to do. So let's get started. I'm clearing all the objects in this scene. And I'm adding my scenes here. The scene is uh, one static body, which I'm going to set to static. In the FX tool, all the thing you need to do is to click static body. But as you can see, collision body have two types of uh, body, static body and kin kinetic body. And if you need to move this body, you have to click kinetics body, otherwise it just, uh, in st static uh, body, it's just going to be affected by the first uh, keyframe. I'm taking the ball and lift it up. and. In the FX tool, I click Rigid Body. Now I could take this uh, brick and do the same, click Rigid Body, but I'm going to click Item Properties here. Oh, sorry, it was outside my screen. And here I'm going to click Add from Layout Selected. Uh, here we can uh, see all the dynamics objects in the scene. To calculate, only thing you need to do is just play and lightweight start calculating. Um, I think the ball is uh, way too heavy, uh, so I'm going to select the ball and change the weight of the ball a little bit to see if we can have it to fall off the edges. Still too little. So there, there we have it. So this is a very easy uh, setup. Uh, you have, uh, you can play with uh, friction. You can play with. Uh, bounciness, linear damping, uh, angular damping also. You can also see here in the world tab that th uh, the g-forces is uh, minus 9.8 9 and it's real world situation. And you also can see here how many uh, frames you are going to calculate. If you need a, a more precise um, animation you can increase this but it also going to increase the time it take to, to simulate so I leave it as standard for now the next thing to do is to um, introduce you to a new tool coming in uh, layout 11.5 and uh, it's the array tool the array tool is uh, is present in, in uh, modeller in for a long time but I haven't seen it in layout before now. So I'm going to set up uh, 20 brick along the x-axis and two row in the z-axis. And the space is spacing between these brick is 700 millimeters and I'm going to change this one to one meter. You can also set that all the brick is going to be one uh, is going to fill one area and then you click overall instead of spacing in between another thing you can do is uh, add some randomness to the position and rotation and scale I'm going to leave that as it now uh, but there is one important thing you need to do think about if you're going to animate this and you have to take unclick this group on 
null. Otherwise the, the animation is going to be very very uh, funny. So now it's calculating my new body and I'm click play to animate. You can also see that uh, some of the bricky was standing outside this area so they are falling uh, because of the the gravity. I'm going to adjust the position of the ball a little bit so we have didn't do that so the rendering is a little bit slow because my computer is old and screen catching is taking much power so there you have an easy little setup for bullet dynamics Hope you like it, uh, please subscribe and click like and uh, share it with other friends. Thank you for now.